The morning people, the morning teachers. Wale wa kuteka maji asubuhi. They had come to this well already. Walikuwa tayari wanakijilia kile kisima. In the morning the water is clear and cool. Wakati wa asubuhi maji ni masafi na nadhifu. Fetched, fetched, fetched. Wakateka, wakateka, wakateka. Carried on the heads. Wakaibeba kwa vichwa vyao. And taken precious water home. Na wakachukua maji ya dhamani kupeleka nyumbani. Sixth hour. Saa ya sita. The water is turbid. Maji yame yame tumukizwa ndani. And he had to pass through Samaria. Na ilibidi apitie Samaria. Because he wanted to meet this woman. Kwa sababu alitaka kukutana na huyu mwanamke. Fighting, fighting, fighting every day. Kuteka, kuteka, kuteka kila siku. And tomorrow still thirsty. Na kesho bado unaona kiu. In the Jewish understanding. Katika ufahamu wa Kiyahudi. Even in Kenya here. Hata hapa Kenya. When you dig the well. Wakati unapochimba kisima. Dig, 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 dig. Unachimba, 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 unachimba. Until you reach the water table. Hadi unafikia kiwango cha maji. Meza inaitwa meza ya maji. Hadi unafikia meza ya maji. Hiyo ni jiwe gumu sana. Hilo ni jiwe gumu sana. Lazima uitoboe kwanza. Lazima uitoboe kwanza. Lazima ulivunje kwanza. Lazima ulivunje kwanza. Ndio ndani humo. Ndio humo ndani kuna maji yenye maisha. Kuna maji yenye maisha. There is water flowing underground. Kuna maji yanayotiririka chini ya ardhi. Flowing. Inabubujika inatiririka. But the rock. Lakini ule mwamba. The water table. Ile mwamba meza ya maji. Cannot allow you to get there. Haiwezi kukuruhusu ufikie hapo. And if you were thirsty. Na kama ulikuwa na kiu. I want you to know. Nataka ujue. The down there the water is clean and cold ya kwamba pale chini maji ni masafi na nadhifu in israel they call it kule israeli wanaita sweet water maji matamu it is cold and good good ni it's ma- not brackish ni- it is not salty ni maji mazuri si si yenye chumvi ni matamu and so when you break the rock pa na kwa hivyo ukiisha kuvunja mwamba pa That's why water gushes out. Hapa ndipo maji yanabubujika kwa fujo chuo. That's why every time they dig a ball, pyosh, it comes out. Ndio maana kila, kila wakati akichimba kisima inabubujika kwa fujo inakuja kwa nguvu. With life. Inakuja na uzima. Much life. Inakuja na uhai mwingi. <laughs> Listen to me. Nisikize. Fetching. Kuteka. Every day you have been fetching. Kila siku unakuwa ukiteka and still fast here na, fast here more fast here. na bado unakuwa na kiu na kiu na kiu zaidi and yet na ile hali the wedding of the lamb harusi ya mwana kondoo is a spiritual wedding ni harusi ya kiroho how will you enter then utaingiaje basi precious people What to other money? The church of Christ right now. Kanisa la Kristo sasa hivi is fetching turbid water. Linateka maji ambayo yamechanika yamechanganyika. Sasa zingine unasema ni maji taka pia, si ndio? Maji taka. Maji taka. He showed me the dream it's sewage water. Alinionyesha katika ndoto ni maji taka. Fetching. Kuteka. Fetching. Kuteka. Fetching. Kuteka. And yet the Lord na ili hali bwana he said oh how i wish anasema oh laiti gani that you don't understand who is it that is talking to you now ungepata kuelewa ni nani huyu anayenena na wewe sasa hivi i would give you living water 
Pentecost. I know. Naijua. The water was clean. Maji alikuwa masafi. With life. Na uzima. And power. Na nguvu. I always give the example. Kila wakati mimi upeana mufano. Of the Sprite. Wa Sprite. The soda of soda of Sprite. Soda aina ya Sprite. You are thirsty is dry. Kis uh, una kiu au kola kola mimi. Una kiu na 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 kuna jua mwangaz. Na kuna jua, jua kuna kiangazi. Kiangazi. When you open it. Wakati unapoifungua. Life Uzima unabubuchika. It bubbles up with life. Inaanza kububuchika kwa uzima uhai. Then how much more? Sasa zaidi gani? The life of God. Uhai wa Mungu. That comes in the Lord and all it. Itakana yeye na upako wa Mungu. From the throne of God. Utaka kwa kiti cha enzi cha Mungu. How much bubbling up with life? Zaidi gani inabubuchika kwa uzima wa uhai? Teaching. Kuteka. It is midday. Ni wakati wa saa sita. Fetching, fetching, fetching. Kuteka, kuteka, kuteka. And the water is turbid. Na maji hayo yamechanika. Pentecost I know. Pentecost ni naijua. Because even when Ananias and Sapphira came. Kwa sababu hata wakati Ananias na Sapphira walipokuja. They tried to lie to Peter. Na kujaribu kudanganya Petero. It was incredible. Ili kwa hayaminiki. Lie and die. Lie and die. There was life in that water. Danganya na ufe. Danganya na ufe. Kulikuwa na uzima wa uhai katika hayo maji. The Lord is speaking. Bwana ananena. And speaking. Na kunena. And speaking. Na kunena. He said, "Look." Anasema tazama. I have a new water. Ninayo maji mapya. The living water. Maji ya uzima wa milele. Bubbling up with life. Inabubujika na uhai tele. Ezekiel 47. Ezekiel 47. The river of life that flows from the throne of God. Moto wa uhai unautiririka kuchoka kwa kisi cha enzi cha mungu. That symbolizes the Lord anointing in the church. Inayosimamia nye upakwa nyakati za mwisho katika kanisa. And he says. Na anasema. From the anchor. Kutoka kwa viweko vya migu. To the knee. Mpaka kwa magoti. Mpaka kwa biuno Until it's a river Mpaka sasa ni muto kamilifu And he said Na nasema In Hagai Katika Hagai The Lord of glory of this house Utukufu wa nyakati za mwisho wa nyumba hii Will be greater than the first Utakuwa mkubwa zaidi ya wakwanza And he says Na nasema The Lord of anointing Upakwa nyakati za mwisho Will have more authority Utakuwa na mamulaka zaidi The Lord of rain Mufu wa nyakati ya mwisho Is a greater rain Yo mufu wa kuzi Fetching. Kuteka. Just fetching. Kuteka tu. One hour, two hour, three hour, sixth hour fetching. Masaya kwanza ya pili ya tatu ya sita bado unateka. This church. Hili kanisa. You are the sixth hour church. Nyinyi ni la kanisa la saa ya saa sita. And the Lord Jesus. Na ya buwana Yesu. Has delivered the past here. Kima kusudi ya napita hapa. That he may come and see you. Ya kwa maakuja ya maone. And see how you are fetching. Na kuwana jinsi muna vyoteka. And he's going to ask you a parable. Na naenda kuwa ulizeni fumbo. A poem. Anaenda kuwa funda kuwa ulizeni shairi. He's going to say. Ata sema. Hey. Hey. Can you get me a drink? Jaya unawaza kuniletea kinyuaji. As in what you are struggling with. Kwa kama kile abacho unangangana nacho. Is that drink enough? Je, hicho kinyuaji kinatosha. Is that all about your life? Je, hiyo ni yota kuziana na maisha yako. Kame. Kuja. Like this. Hivi tu. There are nobody in the world today. Akuna mtu kwenye kisima hivi leo. If I see somebody I'm going to hide first. Nikiona mtu nitajificha kwanza. 
I think all people have gone. Don't let me now breathe. And she's fetching turbid water. In the Jewish tradition, they say she's fetching dead water, dead water. Wanasema anateka maji yaliyokufa. Water without life. Maji yasiyo na uhai. When did the water gel up from the well under? Na nilini maji yalibubujika toka kwa kisima cha chini? Long time ago. Muda mrefu uliyopita. After that, baada ya hapo, the water became dead. Maji ikawa mafu. At times you feel like shaking the water. Wakati mwingine unahisi kana kwamba utayatingiza maji. Wakati amebeba hiyo kibuyu chake. Wakati amebeba hicho kibuyu chake. You feel like catching and shaking the water. Unahisi kana kwamba kuichukua na kuitingiza hiyo maji. And ask the chota kunywe sasa. Na umwambie sasa chota yakunywe. Atakunywa and then uh, and then she will start feeling the little bubbles. Atakunywa alafu ataanza kuyasikia ile punje za hewa zikitoka. Then she will long for the true water with life. Alafu atatamani maji ya kweli yaliyo na uhai wa uzima. You will remind her. Utamkumbusha. That one time ago. Ya kwamba wakati mmoja uliopita. This water had life. Haya maji yalikuwa na uzima. How come today? Yawezekanaje leo hii? Teaching. Kuteka. Teaching. Nateka. Teaching again. Unateka tena. Teaching. Unateka. And tomorrow still thirsty. Na kesho ungali una kiu. Oh precious people. Watu wadhamani. The woman that went to the well. Yule mwanamke aliyeenda pale kisimani. The Samaritan woman. Mwanamke huyo msamaria. I'm going to read a little bit here and you see the need for repentance to bring in that water. Nitasoma zaidi hapa ili uone ile haja ya toba ili ileta maji zaidi haya. But this woman had a bad reputation of sin. Huyu mwanamke alikuwa na mazoelea ya tabia mbaya ya dhambi. She had nothing good about her reputation. Hakukuwa na chochote kizuri kuhusiana na tabia na mienendo yake. The sixth hour woman. Mwanamke walisala sita. Checking is there anybody still in the well? Anachunguza yupo mtu yeyote aliyangani kwenye kisima? And coming to fetch. Alafu anakuja kuteka. Alone. Peke yake. That's where the church is today. Hapo ndipo nilipo kanisa leo hii. The reputation is bad. Mwenendo wake ni mbaya sana. Our sins are in the secular newspapers. Dhambi zake ziko katika magazeti ya kidunia. Her sins, some of her bishops have walked naked there in the internet. Baadhi ya maskofu wake wametembea uchi wako katika mtandao. The Church of Christ. Kanisa la Kristo. One time I looked at one, you know, one servant of the Lord but he fell. Wakati mmoja nilimtazama mtumishi mmoja Mungu lakini alianguka. One time I was flipping through. Wakati mmoja nilikuwa nikipitia pitia. And then I read to him I saw the name. I ran, I ran into him. Alafu nikampata nikaona jina lenyewe. Have you but was it this is servant of the Lord? Alafu nikaza na Jesse huyu alikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu. I remember I broke down and wept. Nakumbuka nilivunjika nikalia. Because he was doing a worship song for the Lord. Kwa sababu alikuwa akifanya wimbo wa kuabudu kwake Mungu. But as he worshiped. Lakini alipoabudu, you could feel that his tears are flowing back through his heart. Ungehisi kwamba machozi yake yanatiririka kurudi kwa moyo wake. And he was saying one day. Na alikuwa akisema siku moja I might meet the Lord. Huenda nikakutana na Bwana. And I will tell him my story. Na nitamwambia kisa cha hadithi yangu. How I fell. Jinsi nilivyoanguka. I will plead with him. Nitamsihi sana. And he was a very mighty servant then. Alikuwa ni mtumishi mkubwa sana. Then. Hiyo wakati. And then he fell to sexual sin. Alafu akaangukia dhambi ya ngono na zina. And there is everything about him regarding sexual sin. Na kuna kitu kumuhusu kuna kila kitu kumuhusu kuhusiana na dhambi ya ngono. What astonished me so much? Kile kilichonishangaza zaidi sana is that one time ni kwamba wakati mmoja he was even going into a prostitute's room in the hotel. Alikuwa akienda hata kwa chumba cha kahaba kwenye hoteli. And that's why cameras were put at his at the door of that hotel. Na hapo ndipo kamera zilipowekwa kwenye mlango wa hicho chumba cha hoteli hiyo. After another man went, came out, then he went also. Baada ya mwanaume mwingine kuingia na kutoka, naye pia akaingia. 
And then at one time, he was called by the assemblies of God then in that country. They removed everything from him. They said, you're not a pastor anymore. You're not allowed to, do, to, to preach anymore. He went independent now. And he started preaching again. And one time the church confronted him about a rumor that developed again with women. His son was sitting there. And then he said that this is what the Lord says, that is none of your business. He told the church. So the son ran to the altar and grabbed the microphone from him. He said, excuse me, members of church. My father is sick, he needs counseling and therapy. Just forgive those dudes. Ignore what he has said. Baba yangu ni mgonjwa, anahitaji kushauriwa na kusaidiwa. Puzidi mbali kile ambacho amesema. He continued preaching again. Akaendelea kuhubiri tena. Then he went and he took a prostitute. I that, that is what really cut my heart with the blood. Na sasa hiki ndicho kilichokata moyo wangu kwa uwembe. Akaenda tena akamchukua kahaba. And he put in his car. Akaweka kwa gari yake. But look at what happened. Lakini tazama kilichotendeka. The Lord made him drive on the wrong side of the street, of the road. And the police stopped him. When they checked, they said, hey, because they knew the prostitute in the city. They asked her, what are you doing in this servant of God's car? And she said, Akasema, He has purchased me today. And I'm supposed to go spend with him. God made him drive on the wrong side of the street. This is just like the woman from Tanzania that came to repent at Sirare. Who said her neighbor is a witch, Dr. Mushuhuri. And, and many pastors from Kenya. Some of them go to that which doctor she said. Na akasema wachungaji wengi sana wengine toka hapa Kenya humwendea huyo mganga mashuhuri. And she said but what amazes her? Na anasema kile kinachomshangaza that they always go get lost and knock on her door. Ya kwamba kila wakati wanapotea na kubisha mlangoni mwake. And she always tells them where are you looking for say mganga so and so. Alafu anamuuliza unatafuta nani? Wanasema mganga fulani wa fulani. And she said no no not here next door. God makes them get lost. This church, the church of Christ of this day, of this last hour, she is fetching at the sixth hour. Her reputation is known. She has done everything sinful under the sun. And the Lord has set out deliberately. He said, me, I want to go and encounter her. I must pass through here. And when he met her, he said, hey, Kasema, hey, can you give me a drink? I see you are busy getting drink. Hey, hey, can you give me a drink? And he says, Nanasema, Oh, how I wish that you would know he that asked you for a drink. He has the authority. He has the capacity. He has the power. And he is willing to give you the water of life. And when the water of life comes into you, 
kuvunjia it will even gel out a spring of living water hata itabomojika kama maji yaliyo hai it will there will be revival in your ministry kumaanisha kutakuwa na ulivyo katika huduma ya there will be revival in your home kutakuwa na ulivyo kwa maboma zenu there will be revival in your family kutakuwa na ulivyo katika jamii zenu teaching kuteka teaching kuteka just teaching kuteka tu tomorrow still thirst kesho bado unaona kio isn't that where the church is today je si hapa ndipo kanisa lililopo leo hii every day they are fasting kila siku wanaona kio and they say na wanasema who are you talking like that ni wewe ni nani unayenena hivyo do you know that our father jacob je haujui kwamba baba yetu yakobo they talk proudly wanaenda kwa kiburi of the history of this well kuhusu ya historia ya kisima hichi but the lord is asking lakini bwana anauliza but how about now then lakini sasa kuhusu je sasa if then ikiwapo hiyo wakati the water was mighty hayo maji yalikuwa makuu the water was sweet maji yalikuwa matamu the water was cold maji yalikuwa nadhifu the water had life maji yalikuwa na uzima je je how about today na je leo hii is it still having life je bado ina uzima oh peter did this oh paul did this i like the church of acts the church in the book of acts they say ah petero alifanya hivi ah paulo katenda hivi napenda sana kanisa la kitabu cha matendo ya mitume wanasema hivyo the pastors proudly talk about that church wachungaji kwa kiburi sana wanaongea kuhusu hilo kanisa la matendo ya mitume and yet the lord is saying na ile hali bwana anasema I promised the Lord anointing. Niliahidia upako wa nyakati za mwisho. The Lord anointing is tremendous. Upako wa nyakati za mwisho ni wa ajabu. I wish you people could see just 100 of what I've seen. Laiti ninyi watu mungeona sehemu ya moja juu ya 100 ya kile ambacho nimeona. You would leave everything. Ungewacha kila kitu. Let us read on because i don't want to go ahead of me and then i'll summarize for you very well hebu tusome zaidi maana sitaki kwenda mbele zangu kisha nitafanyia mutasari kwa wema sana he said asema everyone verse 13 everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again but whoever drinks the water i give him will never ever thirst again Yesu akajibu akamwambia kila ayanywaye maji haya ataona kiu tena walakin yeyote atakayekunywa maji yale nitakayompa mimi hataona kiu milele indeed the water i give him will become in him a spring of water welling up with eternal life hakika maji nitakayompa yatakuwa ndani yake chemchemi yakibubuzika uzima wa milele Mustari wa 15 The woman said to him Yule mwanamke akamwambia Sir Bwana give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water on a daily basis I added that Unipe maji hayo nisione kiu wala nisije hapa kuteka maji siku baada ya siku In other words Kwa maneno mengine We are tired of fighting here every day. Tumechoka kuteka hapa kila siku. We are fighting. Tumeteka. But there is no life we get. Lakini hakuna uzima tunaopata. Fighting every day. Tunateka siku baada ya siku. When she began to understand. Kisha kaanza kuelewa. What the Lord was speaking about. Kila macho bwana alikuwa ananeno kiusu. Then give me that water. Basi nipe hayo maji. That I don't have to keep coming here. Kwamba nisije endelee kuja hapa. To fetch every day. Kuteka siku baada ya siku. And everything that you know I don't want to say. Na kila kitu unachokijua sitaki kutaja. And kupanda here every day. Na kupanda hapa kila siku. And to whatever every day whatever happens there. Na chochote kinachofanyika hapo kila siku. Verse 16 Mustari wa 16 He told her Yesu akamwambia Go call your husband and come back I like that <laughs> Nenda akamuite mumeo uje naye hapa napenda hiyo The Lord is currently telling the church Bwana hivi sasa analiambia kanisa Because they say 
Kwa sababu wanasema The Lord spoke from Kisumu you remember Bwana alinena tokea Kisumu mnakumbuka The creatures walked The walitembea In one night more than 30 death years opened Kwa usiku mmoja zaidi ya masikio watu 30 ilifunguka Caroline Wanjiru Caroline Wanjiru Akahisi aka, aka hata she even felt the, the injection of the blood of Jesus. And now, plus many what blind people, everything that happened, the Lord spoke from there. And they said, Lord, Bwana, that anointing we want. It is good for us. And what you say is good. Then the Lord talked back to her. Okay. Sawa. Now go back. Sasa Rudy. And bring your husband. And come back here. The Lord has now engaged her. Bwana sasa amemuweka. He has, he has, he has en engaged in conversation with her. Sasa amejiingiza katika mazungumzo na yeye. He said, "Do you want this?" Anasema unataka hii. Now go back home. Sasa rudi nyumbani. And get your husband and come back to me. Umleta mumeo uje naye kwangu. It's amazing. Inashangaza. The Lord, Bwana he knew that she is a prostitute. Witchcraft she goes to. The God of money she worships. The God of Phoenicia she worships. The God of prosperity she worships. She worships many gods. He said, hey, akasema, hey, if you like what I say, kama unapenda kile ninachosema, then for me to give you the water, ili kwangu mimi nikupatie maji basi, go back home and come back with your husband. Rudi nyumbani jana mume wako. He knew she has no husband. Alijua hana mume. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, he started mentioning to her her sins. Alianza kumutajia dhambi zake. In other words, he is calling for repentance. Kwa maneno mengine, anaitia toba. Go. And go and bring your husband to me. Come. And go and get him and bring him. And kamleta mume wako kwangu. Mchukua kamleta ikuja na yeye. He knew she's a prostitute. Alijua huyu mama ni kahaba. That is the church of today. The Lord knows the church of today. He is in spiritual prostitution. One part of the heart loves money more than Jesus. One part of the heart even consults with which doctors. One part of the heart does not like fasting. One part of the heart can kill another pastor for a bishopry. He said, hey. Kasema, hey. Okay, now we have agreed. Sasa, for me to give you that water. Kwangu, mimi hayo maji. Go ahead and go. Go, go bring your husband here. Enda letu, enda, enda, enda. Come, let him come wako hapa. The husband is the head of the family. Mume ndiye kichwa cha jamii. With this there was no authority over her. Kumanisha hakukuwa na mamlaka juu yake. She has many heads over her. Ana vichwa vingi juu yake. That is today's church. Hilo ndilo kanisa la hivi sasa. Anything can come and reign over her. Kila kitu kinaweza kukuja na kutawala juu yake. Hey, hey. Now go home and bring your husband here. Sasa enenda nyumbani kamleta mumeo hapa. Let us read on verse 17. Hebu tuendele kusuma mstari wa kumina sabah. I have no husband, she said. She replied. Sina mume akasema. Jesus said to her. 
Yesu akamwambia You are right when you say you have no husband Umesema vyema unaposema sina mume The fact is that you have had five husbands and the man you are now with is not your husband Kwa maana umekuwa na waume watano naye uliye naye sasa si ye mume wako hapo umesema ukweli What you have just said is quite true Kile ambacho umesema ni kweli So the woman said Yule mwanamke akamwambia I can see that you are a prophet. Bwana naona ya kuwa unapi. Our fathers worshiped on the mountain on this mountain. Baba zetu waliabudu katika mulima huo. And you Jews claim that the place of worship is Jerusalem. Nanyi wa Yahudi usema ya kwamba uko Yerusalem ni mahali patupasapa kwa budia. Verse 21. Mustara 20 na moja. Believe me woman. Mnyamini mwanamuke. The time is coming. Kwa mba saa inakuja. When you will worship the father. Ambayo mtamwabudu baba. Neither on this mountain. Sio katika mulima huo. Nor in Jerusalem. Wala kule Yerusalemu. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. Ninyi wa Samaria mnabudu musicho kijua. We worship what we do know. Wali sisi tunabudu tukijua cho. For salvation is for the Jews. Kwa kuwa wakobu watoka kwa wayahudi. Yet a time is coming. It has now come. When the true worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshippers that the Father seeks. God is Spirit and His worshippers must worship in Spirit He knew. Ali Jua. She has no authority over her. Hana mamlaka juu yake. Isn't that today's church? Je, si ilani kanisa la hivi sasa. She has no authority over her. Hali na mamlaka yote juu yake. The with the laibons come. Malaibons wana kuja. They do things and they give her jibu in the hands. Wana fanya bitu wana patia majibu mikononi. The witch doctors come. Wachawi na waganda wana kuja. They tell her how the child is going to be healed if she takes this amount of money. Wana wambia jinsi mtota taponywa iwapata penda kiasi hiki cha pesa. The witch doctors in the world. Wachawi wakidunia. The ones that do witchcraft. Wale ambao wanafanya uchawi. She is going to them. Ana waendea. Trying to find healing for her family. Akijaribu kutafuta upanyaji kwa jili ya jamii yake. Trying to bring her husband back home. Akijaribu kumrajesha mwame wake arudi nyumani. She goes to them to consult. Ana enda kwa kuwa juliza. Even the pastors. Ata wachunga aji. Some of them go to Laibon. Badia wana waendea ma Laibon. And they take the 10%. Na wana peleka kwa fungu la kumi. To the Laibon. Kwa ma Laibon. And listen to this. Na sikiza haya. Now when the weak doctors of the church. Sasa wakati wale wachawi wakanisa. When they come. Wakati wana kucha. When they come to her. Wakati wana mkujili. Those are the false prophets. Ha ndia wana biwa uongo. The false apostles. Ha ndia mitume wa uongo. They say. Wana sema. Panda begu. Panda begu. Dio barikiwe. Dio barikiwe. Panda begu. Panda begu. Dio pakwe mafuta. Dio pakwe mafuta. Sow a seed. Panda begu. That you may be blessed. Ya kwamba ubarikiwe. That sow a seed. Kwamba panda begu. That you may be healed. Ya kwamba uponywe. That sow a seed. Kwamba panda begu. That you may be anointed. Ili upakwe mafuta. That sow a seed. Kwamba panda begu. That you may be delivered. Ili ukamba dewe. That sow a seed. Kwamba panda begu. That you may be in a breakthrough. She consults. She is talking with them. She is selling cows at home. She is selling things to bring to the witch doctor of the church. Run with money to the feet of the apostle. She is being told. And she runs there. She has no authority over her. Halina mamlaka juu yake. The first 
to water maji ya kwanza the first living water maji ya kwanza ya uhai the one at pentecost ile ya pentecost she remembers anakumbuka and she prides herself about it na anajivunia sana kuyahusu hayo maji even jacob himself hata yakobo mwenyewe even his sons hata wanawe even the animals na hata wanyama wake this well has sustained them hiki kisima kina tuhifadhi which what are you telling me about je ni maji gani hayo unayoniambia kuyahusu Go bring your husband